Hi students, today we will talk about uh, the lab 2 and the tasks that we are given in lab 2. Lab 2 is again based upon the same data file that contains two variables, weight of diamond and its price in the market. <clears throat> so the scattered diagram drawn uh, to study the behavior as far as the relationship between weight of uh, diamonds and uh, the price of diamonds are concerned. We are going to first draw scatter diagram between weight and price and we are asked to discuss. So what I have done already, I have imported the data file in SPSS. So what we do, we go for graphs, legacy dialog, scatter dot. We take simple scatter as an option and define. We take price on y axis, weight on x axis, and then we go for paste as usual. You know. Then we'll select this entire syntax from the syntax file and then run. And this is how we can draw the scattered diagram. Over here, we can comment on the nature of relationship between these two variables we have connected together using this scattered diagram. We can say that there is a strong positive relationship that this scattered di diagram is indicating between the weight of diamond and its price in the market. Alternatively, we can also say the lower the diamond, the lower the weight of the diamond, the lower its price, and the higher or greater the weight of the diamond, the higher would be its price. So this is what the relationship that exists between these two variables. Furthermore, we can do one thing as well. <clears throat> we double click on this graph. In the sequence of this row of options, we go for fit, add fit line at total. What it would do when we click this option, it would give us the linear, that is a built in option, and this would apply a linear model on the data. Over there, you can see that three things, two things are appearing. One, the equation on this line, that is an equation of the reg fitted regression model. Also, we are getting R square linear 0.978. How do we interpret R square? R square focuses on the goodness of fit perspective of the model, and we can interpret it as the fitted regression model is able to explain 97.8 variation in the price of diamonds due to the variation in its weight. Furthermore, we can uh, copy down this equation as it is on the one note and then we are going to write it down appropriately because currently it is written in exponents version. Why? is equal to 2.6 e2 plus 3.72 e3 times x. What this e2 and e3 are representing, e2 represents 10 to the power 2, which is 100. So when we state this value, mention this value, we need to multiply the value shown with the e2 factor or just before the e2 factor after multiplying it by 100. Similarly, E3 represents T to 10 to the power 3 and 10 to the power 3 is 1000 and the number just written before E3 should be multiplied with 1000 and then write it down. So I'm going to write down these two numbers and the equation first of all in its full very in terms of the variable that we are mentioned or given in the model. This is minus 2.6 E2 plus 
E2 and plus 3.72 E3 times X. So what we do in place of E2, we need to write down 100. In place of E3, we need to write down 1000. So minus 2.6 must be multiplied by 100 and plus 3.72 must be multiplied by 1000 and then times X. So it gives us minus 260 plus 3720 times X. Now what we can do, we can change the variables according to our situation. The variable that we are estimating is the price. So it should be Y should should Y cap should be replaced with P cap minus 260 plus 3720 times weight which is W. So this is how we write down our equation. And we can interpret these two answers because this is representing what? This is representing y-intercept in the equation that is representing in our case p-intercept. What is an intercept? Just recall x-intercept we determine setting y equals to 0 and y-intercept we determine setting x equals to 0. So these two intercepts gives us the values of the other variable that is if we are looking for x intercept it gives us the value of x at which corresponding value of y is 0 or is set at 0. Similarly y intercept we get when we set at x at 0 that is giving us the value of y that exists at x is equal to 0. So, P intercept is this one and this is the gradient or the slope. What slope measures the change in Y due to a unit change in X. And since relationship is positive because this coefficient has a positive value with 3720 or positive sign with 3720 therefore it indicates that the slope is positive and the, when the slope is positive then we expect the relationship between these two variables as positive so we can alternatively interpret it accordingly that an increase in x by one unit causes how much increase in y and we'll definitely interpret these two numbers in the context of price and weight. Now what P cap intercept is indicating that if weight is set at zero, then this is the expected price of such a diamond whose weight is zero. So it does not make sense to talk about the price of diamond when the weight is zero. And it is not logical to, to interpret a uh, price coefficient a price value with negative negative sign price can never be negative we all know so therefore we cannot interpret it in this way so we leave in such a situation if this was instead a profit model then a profit can be interpreted or a negative value can be interpreted for a y intercept in case of a profit function because because negative sign in a profit function as intercept will indicate a loss but not over here so sometimes it does make sense to interpret intercept with negative value and sometimes it is not so in our case since p intercept is representing price and price can never be negative therefore we cannot interpret price with a no negative value so, unable to interpret why intercept logically. Now, if you look at the coefficient for the slope, 
of the fitted regression model that is the coefficient of w var variable indicates that if weight of diamond increases by 1 carat then the price is expected to increase by $3,720 is the interpretation that we can give to this slope value. So this is how we can interpret intercept and price of the fitted regression model in this way. Now moving to the next part, it is asking us to test the hypothesis that the weight and price of diamonds are not normally distributed. So what we need to do, we need to perform hypothesis testing for normality. And what should we do? We go to analyze descriptive statistics and we can go for explore. Explore we have used uh, in our earlier sessions already as an option. So what we do, we need to move both weight and price together and we go for plots because we are interested in drawing normal probability plot as well as performing test. So we mark a check across none and then normal plots with test then continue, then base. Then again, we go to the syntax file and we run this selection. This is the table we are getting for test of normality. And over here we can see that there are two test statistics that have been applied Kolmogorov Smirnov that we can simply denote as KS test and Shapiro will that is SW. Now we need to look at the significance and since we are following p-value approach and not the classical approach so we will interpret the findings of this test or the results of this test in terms of p-value. Now, how do we write down the null hypothesis, the alternative hypothesis, and how do we complete the entire testing procedure? I'm going to write down over here this test or steps related to the test of normality. We write down the null hypothesis, we write down the alternative hypothesis. For variable weight, I am doing it. And for price, you can do on your own in this following the same way. Now, how do we state our H naught? That weight of diamond are normally distributed this is the hypothesis statement that we write down for testing normality in H naught and weight of diamond weight of diamonds are not normally distributed or do not follow normal distribution. Now as usual, we will write down and mention the level of significance. LOS stands for level of significance. If we are not given any level of significance in the question, we can take on our own it as 5%. So I am taking it as 0.05. Since this is a one tail test, there is no need to divide alpha by 2. Test statistic 
we can simply mention KS and SW. There are two statistics that we are using. And both have the same results we have seen already. Now, contrasting to writing down the critical region, when we follow p-value approach, we write down our decision rule or decision criteria. And decision criteria we write down as the condition under which H naught would be rejected. So H naught would be rejected if significance or the p value associated with KS or SW is statistic is less than 0 0.05. Now we write down our decision and conclusion together. So we compare the p-value and then we state our conclusion. Since p-value we can now have a look on this quickly. That's good. P-value for both KS and as the very statistic are zero therefore h naught is strongly rejected okay since p value associated with both ks and as w is statistic are less than 0 0.05 therefore H naught is rejected and it can be concluded that Weight of diamond do not follow normal distribution. This is how we write down the decision and conclusion of this particular test. And following the same procedure, you can write down the hypothesis test and discuss the hypothesis as well as the finding for the other variables right. In fact, you can change or replace the word everywhere in this slide. Replace weight with price. So you can find the same thing done for the other variable because the findings are exactly similar you can see p values for both ks and as w test for price variable are also zero so no change will be there in the description of this particular test result